Kelly Fisher and I'm Ojibwe from Nipsing First Nation. When I first went to Inclusion Works, I didn't know what to expect. And from, you know, the very first day, I had an idea of uh, how great this event was going to be. And I was looking forward to the next couple of days. And after the third day, I was introduced to uh, this woman, we had a lot of the same interests and so we got talking over a period of time that evening over dinner and uh, it was just such a great atmosphere and everyone was excited to meet everybody and then I started to get really excited and, and starting to see the connections where I could be uh, in a career uh, doing this, this kind of work so that was really motivating for me and so the very next morning I got a phone call and it was the same lady actually offering me a full-time position uh, to work with her and that moment I think everything changed for me and I was just so excited and I was in tears I was crying I ended up calling my my mother and we were both crying on the phone and I think it was just I, I just knew everything was going to change at that moment, so that was probably the most important part for me and most memorable part of Inclusion Works when I was there. I think the biggest piece of advice I could give to other Indigenous youth would be to stay in school and really find what you're passionate about. The school environment, post-secondary environment, is one that gives you the opportunities to really find uh, those things that you're passionate about, you know, through extracurriculars, through your classes, through different teachers who you know are teaching things that you want to learn about. Another key uh, element is to find a good mentor who could guide you along that path and really support you on your journey to becoming a professional in the career of your choice. If there's one thing that you could do, you could apply to the Inclusion Works recruitment fair. And that's where I had a lot of fun. Um, I walked into this big room and there were hundreds of different employers there and hundreds of different opportunities. And you know, I was walking by the different booths and seeing what kind of careers that I could see myself in. And so from there, it was really nice to be able to talk directly with the employers at the booths and get the information that you need. And uh, from there, I had a better sense of what kind of positions I could see myself in. Um, so that was really, really helpful for me when I went to Inclusion Works. Since everyone's on Facebook, they have a page for the Young Indigenous Professionals. And on this page, they put job postings up so you can see what's available in your area or other areas. And another thing you could do is uh, post your resume on the Aboriginal Inclusion Network, which is the Aboriginal website that allows you to connect with different employers online. Inclusion Works is such an important event uh, because it brings all the right people together at the same time and in the same place and so everyone's on the same page and you're all looking to make these connections by going to inclusion works you're seeing that you know the, all these employers are here and they want to hire graduates just like you and so that really gives you the confidence to to feel that you're worthy of these positions and to feel that okay this is the chance for you to uh, give back and to contribute what you've went to school for. Another piece of advice I would give is that you have to stay true to yourself and to also make inclusive connections that stick.